Our mission tonight is to take a picture of Delta Aquilae, and we need a look at the weather to be sure that where the observatory is, it is clear. It appears, this is in Chile, that most of the clouds are out over the Pacific, and it will indeed be a clear night. Tonight, we'll be using Adam Block's equipment called the Harris Telescope. This telescope is designed exclusively for astrophotography and public outreach. Here it is in the observatory awaiting nightfall. It's with many other telescopes that are part of this much larger hosting facility that has a large roof that will open up once it becomes dark enough. This is an RC Optical Systems Telescope with a 24-inch mirror. The telescope is programmed and operated remotely. Here, I'm inputting the coordinates of the star of interest so that later on it will take pictures automatically as part of this sequence of tasks that the telescope and equipment will need to perform. I am programming the system to take pictures of the star through red, green, and blue filters so that we can get a pretty color picture. And now finally it is dark. The observatory is open and the telescope is pointed towards the star of interest. The plane of the Milky Way can be seen running vertically to the right of the telescope in the sky. Now that we're looking at Delta Aquilae, we can begin to focus the telescope in preparation for the images that we are about to take. Now we're in focus, and this is what a five second exposure of the star looks like. Currently the telescope is tracking on the sky, but you need to make corrections while the mount for the telescope tracks so that the light from the universe falls on precisely the same pixels. So there's another element of the software here designed exclusively for tracking on stars. And now we take our first exposure, a 60 second exposure, which will show us our first picture of the night of our target. Although it's a grayscale image at the moment, once we take many images through each of the red, green, and blue filters, we'll be able to create a beautiful color picture. We spend roughly one half hour's worth of time collecting data on this particular star. And then later that evening, we'll take that data and put it together to produce the final picture. And this is what it looks like to process an image. There are many steps to do so. The first steps being shown here comprise mostly the calibration of the data. You need to compensate for the various ways in which the instrumentation works in order to be able to produce the kind of images that you can combine and then ultimately make a pretty color picture. A processing pipeline takes care of the registration, normalization, and ultimately the stacking of these images so that we end up with a single combined red, green, and blue image that we will put together. And here are the three images in each of the colors. We'll combine them to create a single color picture and then color calibrate that information. Finally, we work on some important steps of both sharpening the image as well as reducing some of the noise so that it has a pretty appearance. And here we have, finally, our picture of Delta Aquilae. You'll see that the stars all have a diffraction pattern, specifically the brighter stars. This is caused by the veins that hold the secondary mirror at the front of the telescope. So it's not a property of the stars, of course, it's just the instrumentation. The stars are different colors because they are different temperatures. 
you'll see both blue stars, red stars, and everything in between. The star that we're looking at is an F-type star, which will come across as fairly whitish in this kind of color picture. Of course, in a picture like this, if we ignore and look beyond the stars of our own galaxy, we'll be peering deep into galactic space towards other galaxies entirely. This particular field doesn't have anything bright nearby, but if you zoom in and look very closely, you'll notice that there are small fuzzy patches scattered between the stars. Those are all other galaxies. I hope you enjoyed your journey among the stars tonight, and I wish you all the best, as well as a wonderful happy birthday.